The Fair Trade Way came about as an idea I had in the shower one day when I thought we had this international movement of Fair Trade Towns, how could we bring them together? And the best way to do that was simply by walking from one to the other, from Garston to Keswick, joining Fair Trade Towns along the route. I'm inspired by Mahatma Gandhi and he actually took walking as a means to mobilize people and I saw injustice in the world because of climate change. So I had to take a stance. And now I'm walking here in UK, my second home. The fact there's still a billion people going hungry when there's so much food available in the world is unacceptable. And sometimes you get to a point where just to fight this, you think, well, we're gonna go up and walk. And that's what me and Push have decided we're gonna do. We're just gonna go out there and walk. We want many people to join us. how important it is that this uh, fair trade way is successful. It's an absolutely beautiful and inspiring route without a shadow of a doubt. But it's also important because of what it does in terms of inspiring people to continue the mission. I think it's really important for women to grow their own food throughout the world, here in Garstang as well as in countries such as Ghana, where women are so important in food production. People will see this as a thing to follow, to copy. It could be done in lots of different towns and countries all around the world. So it's going to be a great day, a wonderful weather, probably, beautiful scenery, definitely, a right cause for sure, but one we haven't to let go unfashionable or cool at any point. I just uh, joined today and I'm very, you know, surprised how uh, all these guys have been for like a three days walking and they are like uh, twice my age and they are fitter than me. Um, I've come from Manchester, so I got up at 4.45 this morning. I came from Philadelphia, so I got up four months ago to come here. <laughs> so I've had a great time. You can't beat it. It's a really good cause and great people. Fair trade applies here. We've just had this situation in Britain, and that's small dairy farmers being under threat from the bigger producers and supermarkets. So fair trade is not just an international issue and something overseas. There's fair trade issues in this country we've got to reconcile when we were creating the Fair Trade Way. In this small village in Cumbria, there was a reference to how children were dying because of poor water supply, and it seemed to totally link with what we're hoping Fair Trade will achieve in so many communities, whereby the, the extra funding that they get through the Fair Trade Initiative with the advanced payments and the social premium and the fairer prices actually allows communities to build wells and develop water supplies, and just shows that uh, there's a lot to be done, but that things can be done. Graham. Isn't this the point where you carry me? So I set off saying that it'll be worthwhile if just one person or one company switches to fair trade. We know already that's been achieved. If we get more than that, then that's great. I'm feeling okay. I, I still got a lot of pain. They have done more than 1.5 million steps together. But my enthusiasm is soaring, just like the hills around here. And it's beautiful. Yeah. And we have again a dozen people walking. I hope we'll meet more people on the way. Today, the last five miles, because of what the president of the Karnataka coffee growers wrote to me, I decided to walk barefoot because I want to share the pain. My legs are binding, but my heart is filled with the confidence that the fair trade movement will go far, far bigger. Six of us have walked 88 miles here to Keswick on the Fair Trade Way. We've done it to celebrate Oxfam's 70th anniversary. We've done it to promote awareness, not to raise money, but we will take donations. <laughs> <laughs> I think what Oxfam's volunteers are just absolutely incredible and we would be nothing without them. Fair trade is 7% of the global trade now. There is 93% more we have to work on. Are you ready for that? Yes. yes! Then we shall do it. We didn't set out 
to achieve anything, to, to have great impact as such. We just believed, as Gandhi said, it's not the result of your action that matters, it's taking the action that matters. So whatever you do, take the action. And what sort of prize would you put on a llama? Well, I was asked that, and my first thought was going to say it was going to have to be a good price because they're gorgeous. But then I think, no, it, beautiful creatures like this, it would be unethical to them. They're beyond value. 